A particle is moving with constant speed in a circular path when the particle turns by an angle 90 degree. The ratio of the instantaneous velocity to its average velocity is pi is to x by root 2. The value of x will be. Okay, so um, what's given to us here is an object in circular motion. It's, it's it moving in it's moving in constant speed. So let us say it starts from here from a. And turns by an angle 90 degree, which means it has covered this much path, right? And this is 90 degree. This is position B. The ratio of instantaneous velocity to its average velocity is pi is to x by root. Okay. So we know we know that instantaneous velocity by average velocity would be equal to see since the object is moving with a constant speed, we know that we know that the angular speed would be equal to omega r so the velocity instantaneous is omega r r omega now what is average velocity average velocity would be equal to the total displacement right the total displacement from where from a to b upon the time taken to reach b from a so this is omega r the whole upon total displacement by total time taken now if we consider the triangle if we consider the triangle OBA sorry AOB if you consider the triangle AOB A O B we have the dimension as R because it's moving in a circle so this is R so by hyper uh, by Pythagoras theorem we have this AB as root 2 into R right now what is AB AB here is the shortest distance or in other words AB is the displacement so what we have here is omega r omega r the whole upon what is total displacement the displacement here is root 2 times r the whole upon time time to cover AB now let us see the time time taken to cover AB so what we have here is the formula displacement is equal to sorry uh, not displacement is equal to uh, velocity is equal to right so we have velocity is equal to mm, displacement by time so angular velocity omega is equal to angular displacement by time and therefore time is equal to angular displacement by omega what is the angular displacement since the object has covered 90 degrees the angular displacement is pi by 2 so we have t is equal to pi by 2 the whole divided by omega and therefore t is equal to pi by pi by 2 omega right now if it's pi by 2 omega what do we write here we write here time required for a b we write it as pi by 2 omega so in short what we have here is omega r the whole upon root 2 into r so now pi by 2 omega I can take this take this as by pi okay so we have a by okay uh, wait, wait 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 now we're now, now we're getting confused with the with the fraction here per it is omega r the whole upon okay right so we have pi, uh, root 2 root 2 r by pi into into 2 omega now let's see omega by omega is 1 r by r is 1 so all what we have here is 1 by 2 root 2 the whole upon pi which is therefore equal to pi by pi by 2 root 2 and what is given to us in the question the question says it is equal to pi is to x by root 2 so pi by pi by x root 2 is given to us so if you compare these two what do we get we get that the value of x is 2 therefore the correct option is option 1 2